Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this in one go, so if I stumble over my words going forwards, I apologise in advance. And as always, I apologise in advance if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well. If there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision Song Contest 2020 related video, another sort of reaction video on my channel, if you like. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of time this morning to react to this and get it uploaded, but I want to do it. So apologies if this is a little bit shorter than usual, and I'm not saying as much, but I wanted to film it regardless. The Georgian entry is out. We have the Israeli song later. I won't be reacting to that because I've already heard the four songs in contention. But Georgia, the song is out. Haven't been in a Eurovision final since 2016, I believe. So this is a big year for them. And the song is called Take Me As I Am, and the winner of Georgian Idol, I believe that's the name of the show, Tornika Kipiani, is performing it. I'm expecting something rock in style. At the moment, as I'm recording this, 29,991 views. I'm watching the music video on the official Eurovision YouTube page. Lots of positive comments for this. Will it get Georgia back to the grand final? I believe they're in the first semi-final, which is the tougher one, or so it's looking at the moment. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Georgia, here we go. Like I said, apologies if the quality of this video isn't great. I'm filming it as quickly as I can. There's, an, there's a toy car going up the guitar strings. Oh, you want me to talk like an English man, did he say? Black and white, well, monochrome. Dress like an Italian. Okay, very moody, dark and mysterious. There's a very sort of retro feel to this already. Cassette tape. Mm. Okay. I mean, this is rock, I guess. He's got quite a hoarse, powerful voice. Not a huge fan of the lyrics, but who cares? I was expecting it to be a little bit more mellifluous, if you see what I mean. I was expecting it to have a bit more of a, not pleasant, but a bit more of an accessible melody, if you see what I mean. This is fine. I was expecting the beat to be a bit more impressive. Yeah, he's got that sort of grittiness to his vocals. Well, we're already nearly two minutes through this. I'm not blown away. I mean, the chorus seemed to go on for quite some time there. The verses are alright. There's a sort of um, old school Linkin Park feel to this, which is no bad thing. I don't mind Linkin Park at all, but there's something lacking here. I'm not sure if people are going to really respond to it. Oh, female vocals. There's a cinematic quality to this last bit. Um, that's it. That was over quite quickly, I feel. I don't really know what to say about that song. I'm not sure if I like it or not yet. I'll need to listen to it again later on today. Haven't got no time at the moment. Fair play to Georgia for sending something quite different and out of the box again. I suppose it is rock. 
and uh, it's way too early to say if that's a qualifier. I'm tempted to say at this point no, because of what we already have in that first semi-final. I mean, yesterday when I filmed my What We Know So Far video, I said that there were probably about eight countries that can already feel quite confident of going through, leaving two slots available. We don't even have Cyprus or Malta yet. And you've got Belgium right there, who I'm not too sure about. And now you've got Georgia. Um, I don't know. It's going to be really, really close. That's and Azerbaijan. We're still waiting for them. And Russia. Well, Russia are going to go through, of course. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens in May. That's an interesting sound. Something quite different from Georgia again. It just left me feeling rather underwhelmed. It wasn't as powerful as I expected it to be. It wasn't quite as rock as I expected it to be, but it's not a bad song. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to try and get this video uploaded now, and I'll be back at some point soon with another Eurovision 2020 related video. Until next time, thank you for watching. Apologies if the quality wasn't that great, and bye for now.